All right, pistols. Probably the most underutilized weapons in the game. That being said, uh, this wipe could see a pistol renaissance. Faster switching to the pistol slot could mean a lot of the 9mm pistols could actually start getting used. However, all stereotypes in this video will apply to people who use pistols as a primary weapon. Alright, let's get into it. If someone is using the PM, it can mean a couple of different things. They could be a brand new player, and are taking the least important looking weapon into their first raid, so that their inevitable death doesn't set them back too much. This is really obvious if you find a water bottle as well as a Tushanka in their bag. There's also the people who are impoverished beyond belief. We are talking 10,000 rubles and a sling bag, and that is all they have in their stash. They should probably just scav run, to be honest. The PB is used intentionally, meaning that the broke and new player stereotypes of the PM do not apply. With the 84 round magazine, this thing is about as effective as an airsoft pistol, so if someone is using it, they are definitely memeing. That's or they think they are John Wick incarnated into Tarkov. Either good or bad, they are going to be very aggressive, even if they're on labs. And honestly, I respect the hell out of these people. The Grotch is probably the most unremarkable weapon in the entire game. 9mm pistols are already really bad in Tarkov, but I don't think I've ever seen a PMC with one of these things. At this point, its sole purpose is to add more weapons to the scav pool to make it harder to find quest weapons, like the MP133. This thing would fall into the same category as the Grotch, but it's saved by the fact that it is satisfying as hell to use. The suppressor is available early on, and one tapping scabs, or players on a rare occasion, is really, really fun. Also, people who run this thing often do not use sights because it just doesn't look as cool. If you're using a piece of shit caliber, it might as well look good while you're doing it. This holy instrument is carried by the devotees of St. John Moses Browning. They will sing the psalms of 45, such as My Two World Wars, or Cause I Don't Make a 46, as they charge their unpatriotic prey. Ah uh, yes, the Zoomer 1911. Fantastic. It's the start of the wipe, and you are a USEC. You are using this because it's the only thing you've got left in your stash. If these next few raids don't go well, you will graduate to the next level of poverty and begin using the PM. The Glock 17 is the quintessential rat runner. They scurry around the map, vacuuming up as much loot as they can while avoiding conflict, even with AI scabs. They're timid and will always run away from gunfire.
The Glock 19 is functionally very similar to the Glock 17. The only somewhat minor difference is that they have the unchecked rage and aggression of a honey badger that mixed a nondescript crystalline powder into a Red Bull and decided to kill everything with a heartbeat. They take every fight possible despite losing most of the time because, well, it's a Glock 19. It, honestly, we should be thankful this crackhead energy is contained into a pistol because any other weapon and it would be pretty terrifying. Besides being the traditional way to keep housing prices down in your neighborhood, the Glock 18 is actually useful in Tarkov. If someone is tired of trying to do stirrup, they'll load up 50 rounds of Hydroshock and run through the factory, munching on toes until that quest is done. Then it's completely untouched until the next wipe comes around. Why? Just... why? It's... <laughs> it's so bad. This... <clears throat> average-sized revolver may not be the most powerful, but it's got quite the personality attached to it. That being said, if someone is using one of these things, you can be sure they have 20 more tucked away in their vest and pockets. Obvious memes aside, this thing is viewed as a joke, until it's not. People seem to forget that this thing uses the same ammo as the Ash 12, and 12.7 12 by 55 ain't nothing to mess with. Is it the most effective pistol? Well, no. But can PS12B still rip a sizable hole in your chest? Absolutely. These things can be terrifying. You want an automatic leg muncher, but for whatever reason, don't want to use the Glock 18. I have noticed that the Glock is used almost exclusively for stirrup on factory, but this pistol is much more commonly found on rat runners. Also, people who use this almost always drop to the floor before spraying. They really wish dolphin diving was still in the game. You pulled this thing from the marked room and are extremely disappointed. Otherwise, it's the exact same thing as the APS, with the exception that no one ever buys the APB. They just had one in their stash. One of the three pistols that are actually viable as weapons. Let's be real, everything leading up to this point is used as a scav plinker for the mega broke people, rat running, or for memeing. That being said, the 5.7's large mag capacity and decent ammo mean that it can actually kill things without needing to Lee Harvey Oswald a bullet into the exact right place. The people who use this thing can be absolutely insane players. That's or they are just complete trash. There, there really is no in-between for some reason. Some people like to cosplay as Sam Fisher with quad nods, and they make a big deal out of stalking and waiting for the perfect moment to strike. And then they either mess up the first shot or wait so long for that perfect moment that their prey eventually just runs away. They're not super successful, but they do look damn good while doing it. No one calls this by its real name. It is the Shrimp, nothing else. The Shrimp is another one of the workhorse pistols. Good ammo, good capacity, not too expensive. Overall, it's very similar to the 5.7, with the exception that it isn't nearly as drippy. Because of this, there is a little bit of a pissing match between Shrimp users and 5.7 users over which is better. That being said, shrimp users are better on average solely because they are so devoted to using this thing that they have practically formed a cult. 
Uh, an actually good modern 45 pistol, not the identity crisis that is the M45A1. The USP is the last of the workhorse pistols. It has a lower mag capacity than its alternatives, so people using this thing tend to be more collected and confident in their shot placement. Another notable thing is, most often, it's going to have either the GTL-21 or D-Ball flashlights to mimic the shape of the USP from classic Modern Warfare 2. This thing is used solely to mess with people. It's mostly worthless, but hitting someone with a flare is the ultimate way to burn out their retinas, as well as show them how little you care. You aren't even willing to give them the dignity of a proper fight. Definitely a funny way to mess with people, especially during night raids. And if you actually manage to get a kill with this thing, that is just the ultimate middle finger. All right, I think that's every pistol in the game. With the new wipe, I should hopefully be back to uploading Tarkov consistently. That being said, school is starting up and I have no idea how that is going to impact my upload schedule, so we'll just have to take it in stride. Also, at the time of recording this, Dark and Darker literally just launched into early access and I am very interested in playing that game, so if you would like to see that, please do let me know. Anyways, thank you so, so much for watching, especially all the way to the end, and I hope you enjoyed.